okay. What's up, guys? This is the boy Baga Brain. Back with our next one. We'll be getting to the one time. So, today, I'm going to talk about something that really abstract, but also at the same time very important. And it's just kind of a shame that I would have to make a video like this because people just suck at being good people. So, the topic for today is how to deal with toxic teammates or toxic players in general. No, the best course of action is to just not be toxic, but this is Mobile Legends bang bang talking about. Okay, let me done with the jokes. But toxicity is a problem that literally every game that has communication features have. And how do we deal with this? We deal with this by simply just ignoring it. I know somebody watching this video was probably expecting some real elaborate plan on how to deal with toxic players, but I'm sorry there's not more I could say and there's not more that we could do about toxic players. But what is going on in the mind of a toxic person? Well, I wouldn't be able to answer that completely because I'm not a toxic person. Actually, yeah. Sometimes I might be a little toxic, I wouldn't. That's besides the point. What we do 100% know for sure is that in communication, yes, toxicity is a form of communication. There's the messenger, the medium, the receiver, and the feedback. The last two is the most important when it comes to dealing with toxic players. Let me just draw a quick scenario really quick. So, this guy probably died in top lane for like the fifth time. And then he blames you the mid laner for not rotating or whatever. And say something like GG Eudora. Which is a real quick way to deliver the toxicity. So, in doing so, he begins the communication process. He is the messenger, and his media much through text. Now a lot of us need your reaction will be to have a rebuttal and tell him something just as or more toxic. However, in doing so, you're showing the messenger that you received the message and you're giving him feedback. So, guess what you just did? You completed the communication process, aka the conversation. And if you do that, you're playing right into the toxic person's hands. He wants a response, he wants a reaction out of you in order to continue being toxic. If you want him to stop being toxic, then you need to not complete the communication process. Let me put this in a less nerdy way. You're on Instagram or whatever, you see a nice girl, you decide to follow her and message her. But then, two days later, you check back in the chat and you see that she didn't respond. Would you send her another message? Or a third one? Or a fourth or a fifth? For most of us, no. And the people who don't probably believe that persistence is key and if they keep trying, she would eventually respond. But by that point, you're already looking like a fool. And the same thing applies to your games in Mobile Legends. If it is someone sends a toxic message in the chat, you might send a second one, hoping to get a response or maybe even a third. But more often than not, there would be a fourth one. There will be a fourth one if somewhere along the line, you give him a response. And like I mentioned before, if he does decide to go on and on and on and on, at that point, he'll just start looking like a fool, and nobody wants to look like a fool, right? But anyway, like I said, text isn't the only way to be toxic. You have, personally, my favorite one, I just do it on a one stop, which is spamming emotes. Um, recall spamming, but the worst one of all is the five-year-olds that didn't get away during the draft pick, or probably during the game, and they just stay in base, recall spamming, blah blah blah. The principle is pretty much the same here. These guys want a reaction out of you. They don't get much attention home, so they're trying to come and get on mobile legends. Just ignore it. I know a lot of people let's complain to the enemies, uh, report this, uh, report this, report. Trust and believe that's exactly what the guys want. In that situation, just play your best. Play your best, don't give in to him, don't react, don't do anything, just keep playing. Even if your team getting all your backside handed too, just keep playing. 
have been in this situation countless times and the best course of action is to do exactly what I just said. When they realize that nobody taking them on and everybody just kind of playing without them regardless, they go and join by the game like normal. And if you still want some kind of justice for the immature behavior, you could choose to report them at the end of the game. But bear in mind, this is a hope and pray because most of the times Moon Thunder will not do anything about it and they will send you a mail saying, um, what did I say? We have strongly penalized or strongly warned this player, whatever, whatever did I say? Yeah, you're gonna get hit with that, so personally, I wouldn't waste my time. So, yeah, more or less, the only way to deal with toxic players is to ignore them. And I told you exactly. Yeah, I told you exactly why to ignore them. So that's a little easier for you to do so. While toxicity is very common, I just want it to understand. I just want it to understand. Majority of your games not going to be toxic. Especially if it's a decent player, then they wouldn't really have a reason to be toxic towards you. Which is why you should subscribe to my channel to be a good player and not just a decent player. And therefore you probably won't have to deal with much toxicity. Okay, sorry about that. But yeah, if you like me there you know, like, at the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed the thing and learned something from it. If you did, hit my little like and only subscribe if I probably ask for too much, but subscribe if you want. Yeah, but I'm red signing out. Are you running?